Get ready to take a trip down memory lane and see how time has treated the legendary Kung Fu stars we know and love. From the legendary Bruce Lee to the most acrobatic of them all, Jackie Chan, these martial arts icons have left an indelible mark on the world of action films. Join us as we explore what these Kung Fu stars' present statuses are and discover how their lives have evolved since their prime. Number 15. Lo Mang. Lo Mang is not on the average side. He is truly gifted and encompasses a multitude of talents. Not only does he possess formidable martial arts skills, but he also possesses a gift for painting and calligraphy. When admiring his artwork, one can often find depictions of captivating scenes from his beloved Kung Fu films, showcasing his profound adoration for Chinese culture. Hailing from the vibrant city of Hong Kong, Lo Mang embarked on his martial arts journey at a tender age, honing his craft under the guidance of revered mentors in the region. His unwavering dedication and tireless efforts soon bore fruit when he caught the attention of the Shaw Brothers Studios, an eminent Asian film production company. Through his exceptional combat prowess and inherent charisma, Lo Mang swiftly captured the hearts of audiences. His acting career flourished with his expertise in martial arts disciplines like Tai Chi Quan and Southern Praying Mantis. Notably, he left an indelible mark on the annals of Kung Fu cinema through his roles in timeless classics such as The Five Venoms, Shaolin Temple, and Executioners from Shaolin. In 2019, his most recent film, IP Man 4, was released, further solidifying his status as formidable on the silver screen. Among his repertoire, his portrayal of Chang Achyun in the acclaimed Saviors of Shaolin is his most iconic performance. However, Lo Mang's talents extend far beyond acting. A true virtuoso, he has mastered various traditional Chinese musical instruments, showcasing his prowess as a skilled musician. In fact, he frequently intertwines music into his martial arts presentations, providing audiences with an extraordinary and unforgettable experience. Even at 69, Lo Mang continues to radiate energy and passion. He has taken on the role of an instructor, sharing his knowledge with a new generation of students while continuing to refine his martial arts skills. Although he may have stepped away from acting, his reputation as one of the greatest martial artists of all time endures, a testament to his enduring legacy. Number 14. Yuan Biao As a remarkably acrobatic martial artist, Yuan Biao is one of the most acclaimed and skilled individuals in his field. Born in Hong Kong on July 26, 1957, Yuan Biao made his mark at the tender age of five as the youngest student at the renowned China Drama Academy. While there, he formed lifelong friendships with Jackie Chan and Sammo Kumbo Hung. Taking Yuan Biao under his wing, Jackie Chan became his mentor, and their enduring bond would shape Yuan Biao's career for years to come. Remaining at the academy until age 16, Yuan Biao embarked on a new chapter by immigrating to America with Master Jim Yuan. Initially securing minor roles in films such as The Shrine of Ultimate Bliss and The Hand of Death, his breakthrough arrived in 1979 when Sammo Kam Bo Hung cast him in Knockabout, granting him his first significant breakout role. However, his involvement in The Prodigal Son, a film he acted in and directed by Sammo Kam Bo Hung, propelled him to full recognition firmly establishing his career as an A-list star. From there, he collaborated with Jackie Chan in the iconic Project A, but later decided to forge his own path. In 1984, fate intervened as he served as the stunt coordinator for Dee Dee Pang's Carry On Pickpocket, where he crossed paths with Dee Dee Pang Sao Ha, who would later become his beloved wife. Together, they have been blessed with two children, Yuan Biao's dedication to his craft and exceptional skills as an actor shone throughout his journey, notably in films such as On the Run and The Iceman Cometh. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Yuan Biao recently expressed dissatisfaction with the current state of screenwriting, leading to a more limited presence in contemporary films. In his leisure time, he finds solace in his second property in Canada, where he indulges in his passion for golf. Number 13. Bolo Jung Bolo Jung, a true force to be reckoned with, emerged as a formidable fighter, earning numerous accolades and distinctions in regional tournaments. 
Born in China in the early 40s, he began training in martial arts as a child. During this time, he developed a fascination with bodybuilding, eventually earning the moniker Chinese Hercules after securing victory in the prestigious Mr. Hong Kong Bodybuilding Contest, a title he held for an impressive 10 years. Bolo's journey into cinema began due to his dedicated training, as directors were immediately captivated by his chiseled physique and extraordinary strength. However, his breakthrough role as the antagonist in the iconic Bruce Lee film Enter the Dragon thrust him into the spotlight. Recognizing Bolo's remarkable fighting abilities and commanding presence, Bruce Lee forged a close bond with him, and the two began training together. This collaboration with Bruce Lee led to Bolo's continued involvement in subsequent martial arts films, solidifying his status as one of the genre's most revered and admired actors. In the 80s, Bolo joined forces with another rising action star, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Together, they co-starred in a series of successful movies, including Bloodsport and Double Impact. Bolo's imposing presence and terrifying fighting technique provided a perfect counterpoint to Van Damme's daring, making them an iconic on-screen duo. Beyond the camera, Bolo was renowned for his unwavering discipline and dedication to his craft. He adhered to a strict diet, maintained a rigorous exercise routine, and continued to train relentlessly. Even in his 70s, he remained committed to his acting career and physical training, inspiring a new generation of martial artists and action movie enthusiasts. Today, Bolo Young remains revered in martial arts, a legendary figure in the action movie genre, as he leaves an indelible mark at 76. Number 12, Michelle Yeoh. Here we have a highly esteemed actress renowned for her captivating performances in Chinese cinema. Michelle Yeoh has garnered widespread acclaim on the international stage thanks to her carefully selected roles in Hollywood films. Born on August 6, 1962 in Ipoh, Malaysia, Michelle Yeoh hails from a Hokkien heritage and possesses fluency in English, Malay, and Chinese. Yeo displayed a profound passion for ballet from an early age, commencing her journey as a dancer at the tender age of four. Her unwavering dedication led her to embark on a transformative experience in London, where she attended the prestigious Royal Academy during her formative years. While in Hong Kong, Yeo ventured into filmmaking, collaborating with D&B Films in 1985 to produce action-packed films. Initially billed as Michelle Kahn, she later adopted the name Michelle Yeo, Notably, despite her lack of formal martial arts training, Yo astounded audiences by diligently preparing for intense martial arts sequences through the guidance of on-set trainers, drawing upon her disciplined background in dance. She fearlessly performed her own stunts, mirroring the legendary Jackie Chan in his renowned work, Police Story 3. This notable feat propelled her to national and international recognition, securing leading roles in captivating films like Magnificent Warriors, Executioners, and Tai Chi Master before captivating audiences worldwide as Chinese agent Wai Lin in the 1997 James Bond blockbuster Tomorrow Never Dies. While she briefly stepped away from performing following her marriage to the affluent CEO of D&B Films, Dixon Poon, in 1988, Yeo experienced a triumphant return, garnering tremendous success and acclaim from Chinese audiences. Through roles in universally acclaimed movies like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and the aforementioned James Bond thriller Tomorrow Never Dies, she captivated Western viewers, solidifying her status as an international cinematic icon. Her recent endeavors include starring in the latest Star Trek Discovery season and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, reaffirming her enduring relevance in the industry. Furthermore, her most recent film, Everything Everywhere All at Once is a testament to her artistic prowess, boasting some of her most exceptional battle scenes. Additionally, Yeo made history as the first Asian woman to secure the prestigious Best Lead Actress Award, a monumental achievement in the esteemed 95-year Academy Awards history. Number 11. Dragon Lee Regarding South Korean actors, one name stands out for his embodiment of the essence of Taekwondo and Hapkido, Dragon Lee. Born on a bright August day in 1940, he entered the world of martial arts, leaving an indelible mark ever since. 
Dragon Lee emerged as a formidable presence during the golden era of martial arts movies in the 1970s and 1980s, showcasing his exceptional talents and deep knowledge of these two Korean combat arts. Renowned for his tough persona and martial arts prowess, he garnered praise for his roles in iconic films such as Secret Rivals and Death Duel of Kung Fu. His mastery of martial arts and captivating on-screen charm made Dragon Lee swiftly a favorite among action movie enthusiasts worldwide. Remarkably, even at 63, he remains as nimble and agile as ever. Executing high-flying kicks and lightning-fast punches with finesse, he defies the notion of age, maintaining his remarkable physique. Though his face may bear the traces of time and experience, it exudes a certain aura of strength and confidence that commands respect. Dragon Lee's achievements speak volumes, securing him a well-deserved place in martial arts history. One would be struck in person by his serene and composed demeanor, radiating a sense of calm and coolness. Dragon Lee's legacy serves as a testament to his exceptional journey, leaving an enduring impact on the world of martial arts and captivating the hearts of fans across the globe. Number 10. Stephen Chow Stephen Chow, the renowned Hong Kong actor, director, and producer, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry over his impressive three-decade-long career. Born as Chow Sing Chi on June 22, 1962 in Hong Kong, he spent his early years in Shanghai, China, alongside his three sisters. Despite his humble background, Stephen Chow displayed a natural flair for performing from a young age. With his distinct sense of humor and remarkable improvisational skills, Stephen Chow has become a household name in Hong Kong and globally. Inspired by the martial arts prowess of Bruce Lee, Chow developed a keen interest in martial arts and began learning the Wing Chun technique, which was one of Bruce Lee's specialties. This background in martial arts proved instrumental as he frequently showcased his skills in his well-known action movies. In 2002, Stephen Chow realized his vision of blending sports, humor, and action kung fu with the release of Shaolin Soccer. Collaborating with renowned action choreographer Tony Ching Siu Tung, he added a stylized touch to the film's exhilarating battles. The movie quickly became a record-breaking success, becoming the highest-grossing film in Hong Kong cinema history. Hollywood took notice of Chow's comedic talents, and Miramax Films acquired the distribution rights to Shaolin Soccer, making it available to audiences worldwide in 2003. Building on the commercial triumph of Shaolin Soccer, Stephen Chow continued to captivate audiences with his next kung fu comedy film, Kung Fu Hustle, released by Columbia Tristar. Despite his remarkable success, Chow remains humble and deeply committed to his craft, consistently pushing his boundaries and exploring innovative approaches. Even at 59, he inspires audiences worldwide with his boundless energy, quick wit, and passion for storytelling. As we look to the future, Stephen Chow's legacy as a true icon of Hong Kong cinema is assured. Number 9. Vincent Zhao Hailing from Harbin, Heilongjiang, China, Vincent Zhao embarked on a remarkable journey in martial arts. Born into a family that highly valued education, physical fitness, and martial arts, Zhao, the youngest of three sons, was introduced to martial arts training at a tender age. Interestingly, his early passion for singing momentarily diverted his attention from martial arts, but his dedication to both pursuits remained unwavering. Zhao's martial arts journey began at a local academy, but his subsequent transfer to Beijing Sport University truly shaped his path. Remarkably skilled and dedicated, Zhao swiftly earned the nickname the Kung Fu King among his peers, owing to his esteemed Chinese national team membership. In 1992, fate intervened when Hong Kong film producer Corey Yuan visited Beijing Sport University in search of a martial artist to portray the lead antagonist in his upcoming film, Fong Sai Yuk, also known as The Legend of Fong Sai Yuk. Zhao's martial arts instructor introduced him to Yuan, who recognized Zhao's potential as a star. However, despite this golden opportunity, Zhao surprisingly hesitated to accept the role, requiring support and encouragement from his loved ones. This experience provided Zhao with valuable acting exposure, and upon returning to his studies, he further honed his performance abilities by enrolling in three months of acting training and two months of dancing classes. 
His agility acquired from martial arts training helped him win a national college dance championship competition. Since the early 1990s, Vincent Zhao has pursued a film and television career based in Hong Kong. His filmography boasts notable works such as True Legend, Once Upon a Time in China 4, and Ying Xiong Zheng Chenggong, where he not only acted but also directed. After two decades of experience in front of the camera, Zhao aspires to venture into directing, with a vision to create a martial arts movie centered around the theme of hidden masters in everyday life. Moreover, since March 1, 2017, Zhao has proudly served as an ambassador for Health Qigong, embracing his role as an advocate for the benefits of this ancient Chinese exercise system. Number 8. Angela Mao Angela Mao's journey into Kung Fu began with an unwavering fascination at an early age. Growing up in a household filled with martial artists, her passion for this ancient art form ignited when she was just six years old, guided by the watchful eye of her father. Determined to master the craft, Angela poured her heart and soul into her training, dedicating countless hours each day to refining her skills, exploring various Kung Fu styles, and delving into the art's profound philosophy. As Angela blossomed into her teenage years, a serendipitous opportunity presented itself. A film director was searching for a female martial artist to feature in an upcoming movie, and Angela's exceptional Kung Fu prow had captured his attention. Initially hesitant about stepping onto the silver screen, Angela's father, with his unwavering support, convinced her to seize the chance destiny had placed before her. And so, with a leap of faith, Angela embarked on her very first film role. From that point forward, Angela's name became synonymous with the martial arts genre, as she starred in a series of iconic movies, including the renowned Enter the Dragon. This extraordinary film catapulted her career to dazzling heights, thrusting her into the spotlight on a global scale. But Angela Mao's influence extended far beyond her on-screen persona. Off-screen, she proved to be a remarkable force. A staunch advocate for women's rights, Angela fearlessly raised her voice, shedding light on female martial artists' unique challenges. Moreover, she dedicated herself to mentoring and coaching young women, empowering them to pursue their passions while shattering societal stereotypes. Angela Mao's impact reverberates even today as her indomitable spirit inspires martial arts enthusiasts and aspiring actors worldwide. In 1992, Angela graced the big screen for the last time, leaving behind a testament to her immense talent as an actor. The film showcased her versatility, earning resounding praise from fans and critics alike. Number 7. Tony Ja. In action cinema, Tony Ja has firmly established himself as the heir to Bruce Lee's throne. What sets him apart from his contemporaries is his unwavering commitment to authenticity. Ja eschews wires and stunt doubles, opting for a raw and visceral approach that infuses his fight scenes with a bruising ultra-realism. Born on a chilly February day in 1976 in the quaint Thai town of Surin and raised in a rural area, he honed his skills through a unique blend of movie-inspired learning and training sessions in his father's humble rice field. Over time, he became proficient in various martial arts disciplines, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Aikido, Judo, and Jiu-Jitsu. Beyond his martial arts prowess, Ja is a multifaceted talent. He is renowned as an actor, action choreographer, and martial artist, carving out a well-deserved reputation in the industry. From a young age, his deep fascination with martial arts and a burning passion for performing paved the way for his future success. However, it was in 2003 that Ya experienced his major breakthrough. That year, he graced the screen in the highly acclaimed films Ong Bak, Muay Thai Warrior, and The Protector, which catapulted him into the international spotlight. Renowned as one of his generation's most skilled action choreographers, Ja's jaw-dropping stunts and breathtaking battle scenes captivated audiences worldwide. In a surprising turn of events, Ja temporarily left the entertainment industry in 2010 to embark on a spiritual journey as a Buddhist monk. However, the allure of his passion proved too strong, and in 2013, he made a triumphant return. Since then, he has continued to leave an indelible mark on the silver screen, with notable appearances in movies such as Skin Trade, Furious 7, and Kax X, Return of Xander Cage. 
Despite his tremendous success, Tony Jaw remains refreshingly grounded and unwaveringly dedicated to his craft. Each day, he diligently trains in martial arts, constantly pushing his limits and refining his skills. His relentless perseverance has undoubtedly paid off, as even at age 46, he boasts an impressive physique adorned with bulging muscles and lightning-fast reflexes. Number 6. Seo Wong Fan Meet Seo Wong Fan a multifaceted martial artist and actor whose remarkable impact on the Hong Kong film industry has left an indelible mark. Born in June 1973, Fan's journey from an early age in the entertainment business to becoming a globally recognized figure is a testament to his natural talent and unwavering dedication. Prepare to be enthralled as he effortlessly weaves dynamic acting with awe-inspiring martial arts prowess, mesmerizing audiences from around the globe. In the annals of cinema history, Fan's iconic portrayal of Ricky in the 1991 cult classic Ricky O. The Story of Ricky is an unforgettable masterpiece. His ability to balance exceptional martial arts skills with dramatic flair catapulted him to well-deserved prominence, leaving fans captivated by his charismatic presence on the silver screen. However, Fan's role as Jin Shan Zhao in the blockbuster hit IP Man solidified his status as one of our time's greatest actors and martial artists. Critics worldwide lauded his portrayal of the Chinese martial artist, and his performance resonated with audiences on a global scale. He emerged as a role model for martial arts and action film enthusiasts, admired for his dedication to the craft and inspiring journey to success. Fans' talent and artistry continue to evolve at 48 years old, setting new benchmarks with every challenging role he embraces, with the physique and aura of a true martial arts legend, he commands attention and respect both on and off the screen. As we eagerly await his next venture, there's no doubt that the boundless potential of Seo Wong Fan's talent and unyielding determination knows no limits. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. And what do we have here? This is an eyebrow-raising enigma, an intriguing image of none other than the legendary Jet Li and, on the other side, a supposedly very older version. Could this be the real deal? Or is someone playing tricks on us? We all know Jet Li as the action-packed, gravity-defying martial arts maestro, but hey, life's an adventure, and we might just have to accept that even the mightiest warriors age like fine wine. Could this be a glimpse of his future? Let us know your theories and thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Wu Jing Wu Jing is a renowned martial artist and multiple-time national wushu champion from Beijing, China. With a lineage steeped in martial arts excellence, Wu Jing was born into a distinguished Manchurian family associated with the prestigious Yellow Banner of the Eight Banner Confederation. At the tender age of six, his father sent him to the Beijing Wushu Academy, albeit with some initial reluctance. However, his passion for martial arts blossomed as he adapted to the demanding training regimen and embraced his new surroundings. Wu Jing eventually became a former member and assistant coach of the esteemed Beijing Wushu team. In 1995, a pivotal moment arrived when Yuan Wo Ping and Chung Sing Yim, the filmmakers behind Jet Li's beloved Shaolin Temple series, visited the Beijing Wushu Academy in search of potential talent for their new project, Tai Chi 2. Here, they encountered Wu Jing, this encounter marked the birth of a new martial arts sensation. Subsequently, Wu Jing and Yuan Wo Ping joined forces for a remarkable three-year collaboration, creating three top-rated TV series, Master of Tai Chi, New Shaolin Temple, and Swordsman of Flying Dagger. These productions captivated audiences across China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong as Wu Jing's awe-inspiring martial arts skills and exceptional acting abilities were on full display. Diligence defines Wu Jing as an actor. He consistently delivers stellar performances, often opting to perform difficult and perilous stunts himself rather than relying on doubles. His exceptional contributions to martial arts movies such as Tai Chi Boxer, Fatal Contact, the SPL series, and the Wolf Warrior films have garnered widespread recognition. Additionally, his involvement in the blockbuster The Wandering Earth, adapted from a story by Liu Qingxin, showcased his dedication beyond acting. Learning that the production crew lacked the necessary resources, Wu Jing invested his personal funds into the project. 
The movie's box office success soared to an impressive $700 million, with $691 million generated in China alone, securing its place as the third highest grossing film ever in the country and one of the top 20 science fiction movies ever. Number four, Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen exemplifies the essence of martial arts, a true embodiment of its spirit. Born in Guangzhou, China in 1963, Yen's journey traversed continents as his family relocated to Hong Kong when he was two years old, eventually settling in Boston, Massachusetts at 11. Guided by his mother, a Tai Chi expert, Donnie received his initial martial arts instruction from her, establishing the foundation for his remarkable journey. With an insatiable thirst for knowledge, he studied various martial arts disciplines, including Wing Chun, a style he would later pass on to Robert Downey Jr., for his role in the Marvel film Iron Man 3. While Donnie Yen's prominence may be more pronounced in Asia, his acclaim is well-deserved worldwide. His combat prowess and choreography defy expectations, leaving audiences awestruck. Although he has graced the silver screen for years, appearing in classics such as Wing Chun, Iron Monkey, and Hero, it was his portrayal of the legendary Grandmaster Yip Man in the martial arts biopic IP Man that propelled him to global recognition and adoration. Remarkably, Yen mastered the technique in nine months, a testament to his dedication and talent. With over 70 films and television programs, Donnie Yen has showcased his acting prowess and versatility and choreographed riveting fight scenes for major Hollywood productions such as Blade II and Highlander Endgame. The entertainment industry has taken note of his immense contributions, establishing him as one of the preeminent Asian actors of our time, commanding an international following spanning continents. Despite his enormous achievements, Yen remains grounded and humble, persistently challenging his physical and mental boundaries in unwavering dedication to his craft. Even at 58, he maintains exceptional physical shape through rigorous training regimens and an active lifestyle. Donnie Yen's unwavering commitment and unparalleled talent continue to captivate audiences, cementing his legacy as a true martial arts and cinema icon. Number three, Jet Li. Renowned as one of the world's most esteemed martial artists, Jet Li has captivated audiences with his exceptional skills and indomitable spirit. Born in Beijing, China, he embarked on his journey in the martial arts realm at a tender age, delving into the practice of wushu. A prodigious talent, by the age of 11, he was already competing in national-level events, securing an impressive collection of 15 gold medals across various tournaments. Jet Li's extraordinary prowess caught President Nixon's attention, who requested the young fighter serve as his personal bodyguard. However, Li's path took an unexpected turn when he made the decision to pursue a career in acting, forever altering the course of his life. His debut in the 1982 blockbuster The Shaolin Temple propelled him into the spotlight as a rising star in the film industry. The gateway to Hollywood fame swung open with the release of Lethal Weapon 4 in 1998, following his triumphs in the Chinese market. Renowned for his flowing, kickboxing-influenced style, Jet Li embodies speed, power, and control, characteristics that shaped his iconic stage name. From that point forward, his star continued to rise as he made countless appearances in domestic and international films, capturing the hearts of audiences worldwide. Memorable performances in blockbusters such as Once Upon a Time in China, The One, The Expendables, Romeo Must Die, and The Forbidden Kingdom etched his name in cinematic history. His prominent role as Yin Yang in The Expendables franchise solidified his status as a Hollywood heavyweight. Jet Li never lost touch with his martial arts roots despite his success. He remained dedicated to his craft, even establishing his own martial arts academy, where he imparted his knowledge to students of diverse ages and socioeconomic backgrounds. Jet Li's position as one of the greatest martial artists and actors of all time is unassailable, and even at the age of 59, he maintains a level of fitness and agility that rivals his prime. His enduring legacy is a testament to his extraordinary talent and unwavering dedication to his craft. Number two, Jackie Chan. It's hard not to be a fan of the one and only Jackie Chan, right? This incredible individual has earned his place as a true badass, 
captivating audiences by fearlessly performing all of his stunts throughout his illustrious career, even at the cost of enduring numerous bone-crushing injuries as time passed. A living legend in every sense, Jackie Chan is renowned for his awe-inspiring acrobatic prowess and innovative use of weaponry. Hailing from Hong Kong, he has left an indelible mark on the global film industry, establishing himself as a multifaceted actor, martial artist, and director. Starting as a humble stuntman, Jackie Chan's unwavering determination and tireless work ethic propelled him to the forefront of the cinematic world. In 1978, he skyrocketed to fame with his remarkable portrayal of the legendary Wong Fei Hung in the film Drunken Master, a role that garnered him widespread acclaim. With an irresistible blend of flawless martial arts skills and comedic finesse, Jackie Chan carved a unique niche that would define his unparalleled performances. Over the years, he has graced the silver screen with his presence in a multitude of movies, including the beloved Rush Hour, the thrilling police story, and the animated gem Kung Fu Panda, among many others. Continuously captivating audiences with his extraordinary abilities, Jackie Chan's cinematic journey has been nothing short of mesmerizing. However, behind his immense success, Jackie Chan has also faced his fair share of challenges, enduring injuries sustained while making his films and openly discussing his battles with depression. In recent years, Jackie Chan has ventured into the music industry, showcasing his singing talents through a series of albums. Moreover, he is a dedicated philanthropist, supporting numerous charitable endeavors and proudly serving as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. Number 1. Bruce Lee Unquestionably, one name rises above all others regarding male martial arts actors. Bruce Lee, an indomitable force who forever altered the landscape of on-screen combat, infusing it with unprecedented intensity and authenticity. Not only is he the most renowned martial artist in history, but Bruce Lee is an authentic icon who left an indelible mark on the practice of martial arts itself. Raised under the tutelage of his father, Lee embarked on his martial arts journey at a tender age, immersing himself in the art of Wing Chun by the age of 13. Born in the vibrant city of San Francisco, California, Lee hailed from a lineage of distinguished performers from Hong Kong. At 18, he ventured to the United States, driven by a thirst for knowledge and pursuit of a philosophy degree at the esteemed University of Washington. Despite his academic pursuits, Lee remained dedicated to martial arts, continuing to teach and practice while eventually establishing his school in the lively city of Seattle. However, Lee's expertise extended beyond his mastery of martial arts. He possessed an undeniable talent for acting and directing. His illustrious career spanned Hollywood and Hong Kong, with the timeless classic Enter the Dragon captivating audiences and solidifying his status as a cultural legend. Beyond his physical prowess, Lee's intellectual depth shone through his writings on philosophy and martial arts, most notably exemplified in the widely renowned Tao of Jeet Kune Do. Though Bruce Lee's life was tragically cut short at 32, his impact surpassed that of countless individuals in a century's span. In his abbreviated existence, he ascended to the rank of Kung Fu Master, devised his martial art forms beginning with Jun Fan Kung Fu and later Jeet Kune Do, authored multiple influential books, portrayed the memorable role of Kato in the Green Hornet series, defied conventions by sharing Chinese martial arts with Westerners, and emerged as one of the greatest movie stars the world has ever witnessed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.